So around 2008, the LTE specification was finalized, and in uh, about 2009, pretty much started going mainstream. Um, I think we started seeing it on phones. Um, HTC might have been the first one who kind of pioneered in it. Don't quote me on that, but if they didn't, it was definitely one of the devices that, uh, you know, brought it to the mainstream. Fast forward now to 2020, and we have 5G. And all the manufacturers and everybody are they're just, you know, pushing it, just really wanting everybody to get into 5G. Um, you pretty much see it everywhere in conspiracy theories, um, carriers, um, manufacturers, anything around there. Um, what I want to show you right now is just what it's like to be on a 5G network. And I only want to show you this not to give you a false sense of, you know, it being the best thing out there or the, you know, the greatest thing out there. But I just want to show you a realistic test of what the speed is like and why you probably shouldn't worry about it for right now. So this is around where I live and uh, I'm going to compare this to LTE plus right after this. So let's go and do this test. All right. Reaching 30s, okay. Pretty much did this on LTE. All right, so we got 39.2 megabits per second. Uh, download. And for upload, we got 12 megabits a second. Now, as you can see in the top right corner of my screen, this is on 5G. Um, it's connected to T-Mobile's 5G. Now, what I really want to show you is LTE+. Plus. By the way, I'm using a Note 20 Ultra 5G. So, this should be a pretty good idea of what 5G would look like on a phone that has both uh, the millimeter wave and I forgot what the other type of 5G technology is, but whatever. Should have both. Now let's switch this to LTE only and we're going to have to wait for this to go into effect. All right. So let's give this a second because as in as you can see in the top right corner, still on 5G. All right, waiting. Still waiting. Man, this thing really wants to stay on 5G. There we go. All right, so now we're on the LTE, not LTE plus, but just a regular LTE. So let's do that speed test. So as you can see, we're actually pushing around the same download speed and about actually the upload speed is a teeny bit faster. And there you go. This is on regular old LTE. Um, I'm going to shut off the video for now because I do want to see if I can get LTE plus because I also tested it on that and you'd probably be surprised with the results or maybe not. I mean, 5G is in its infancy, but either way, I think, uh, like I said, I don't think it's something to worry about right now. All right, so I am back with the second part of my test. Um, I had to drive around. Luckily, I went to a local gas station and finally connected to LTE plus which you can see up in the top right corner I'm not going to touch that because the notification bar will come down um, by the way the other version well I guess there are three technically three versions of 5G low mid and high but the ones that are relevant that we're talking about with these phones nowadays are sub 6 and millimeter wave which is faster um, of course, the Note 20 Ultra 5G and most high-end phones 
should be able to connect to both. But let's get right into this test to see what LTE Plus will do for you over 5G in certain situations. All right. And as you can see, easily hits over 80. Still going up. And this is on LTE Plus. All right, where is it going to stop? All right, so 88.94, sorry, 88.91 megabits per second for upload. Not that fast, but I mean, upload speeds don't really matter too much anyway. And there we go. So as you can see, 5G is wholly dependent upon its implementation in your area. Um, around where I live, it's not prominent. And honestly, I end up turning it off a lot of times just because LTE plus is a lot faster for me. Um, however, I have tested it in another place and I'm going to show you my results for that right now. So just switching over, here's a screenshot I took of speed test. Now, if you notice on... The 31st of August, 2020, right here, I got 236 megabits, sorry, megabits per second um, download speeds on 5G, on a 5G test with 29.7 upload speed. Um, on LTE, oops, cut off the screenshot, but as you can see on the bottom, I got 67.5 and then 21.6 upload. Now, like I said, 5G is very much so going to be dependent upon the implementation in your area. This is pretty much T-Mobile's implementation of it uh, where I live. The speed test that I did on the 31st was actually near my car dealership, and that was kind of more of a downtown area, so that kind of makes sense, you know. You'd probably want it to be faster where there are more people to balance that load on the network. Um, but as you can see also on the 29th, LTE, and that's right here, LTE is still no slouch. So I say this all to say that I don't think 5G should be a reason for anybody to buy a phone. And I know I'm, a lot of manufacturers are kind of marketing it and sort of try to make it more accessible i know for instance samsung has the galaxy was it a51 or a71 and those are supposed to be sort of more budget 5g phones but when looking at a 5g phone you kind of have to really ask yourself is all of that speed really going to be necessary for your use case i think most of the times the answer will be no and even if you talk about gaming and things of that sort, you know, unless you're doing the new Xbox cloud uh, service that came out for the Note, the Note series, um, and that's going to come out for a, a lot of other devices, I don't think it's something you really need to worry about. So hopefully this will help you make a decision. Um, for those out there who are just into getting the, you know, more high-end phones then it's an added feature it's not going to be a make or break but for those out there who are kind of wondering and you know kind of maybe listening to their friends or something along those lines tell them that you know 5g is the future and everything like that i would definitely tell you to wait the speed increase is significant if you can get it in the area you're in but it's not going to be worth it for you to just go out there and feverishly go after it. So hopefully this video helped. Um, feel free to pause the video and take a look at all the speeds. Um, I uh, Well, all the speed tests I've done. And on the left side, you can also see what network, I, well, what type of network I was on. Um, unfortunately, I don't think speed tests will dictate that it's LTE plus, but either way, 
you can kind of see those speeds. Hopefully this video was helpful, like I said, and any comments, any questions, anything I may have said wrong, please share down in the comments. I definitely want to get better at making these videos, and um, it will be greatly appreciated. Have a good night, people. Or, well, wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's night where I am. <laughs>